the old gods demand altars built for their glory. Fight for their name, for there can be only one lording over all. Welcome back to Table Top Fives. Today we are reviewing Alter by the Red Joker. Now this only has 24 hours left in its current Kickstarter, so make sure to like, subscribe, and check the description down below for the link to the Kickstarter. So Adam, what do you think about the game? Yeah, so this game is actually really, it's a really beautiful game. Mm -hmm. It's actually a card game for two to five players. And so you each select a certain god, god of war, god of love, god of death, god of light. And I think there's a bunch of expansion gods too that are coming out for this as well. But you each one, you take your god card, or player little board, god board, and then you all get cards. And then you're pretty much battling each other to build altars and shrines. And so uh, the more shrines you have, the more altars you can activate. And so there's this like tug of war aspect mm -hmm. and take that mentality to the, your other fellow gods to be the best and have the most glory at the end of it. Absolutely. And at the heart of this, this is a take that game. Yeah, 100%. You know, this really is a... Uh, you know, really kind of beat each other down. And, you know, this works well with lots of people. Uh, like I said, it does two to five, but I play it with four to five. Yeah. I really get that aspect in there. And if somebody's getting ahead and other people say, no, we're going to destroy your altars and your shrines right. there, or we're going to kill your followers, you know, it's and really you, this back and forth. Yeah, you can worship, and that's when you, like, place a... Uh, a follower a follower down next to you which can either protect you against other certain followers that are trying to harm you mm -hmm. and so you have this like protection mechanism but then you can use them to build shrines and so you're always trying to figure out what you can do i would have to say that it's probably way better with more people yeah. we played a two-player version of it and we get a little bit of take that but if there was three other people playing and mm -hmm. tearing down my altars and ruining all my followers all the time and it would just be way more fun, I think. Right. So the artwork in this game is absolutely phenomenal. Beautiful, let yes. me show you. So the cards, the player boards, they are just absolutely majestic. Yeah. I mean, the details The detail on the art is amazing. Absolutely. Like the God of War, yep. like you wouldn't want to mess with No, he's absolutely like, not. He's like just dripping with testosterone <laughs> and blood and war. So Exactly. Like, and, and, and even with all the individual followers, I mean, they yeah. really made some good details on there to, yeah. to really show them off. And I can't wait to see what the expansions look like. Yeah. I'm sure they're going to keep that going through. I'm excited to see what gods they bring out Absolutely. because I think they revealed some of them on the Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. But, like, I'm excited to see, like, to actually have the player board to put down because the art is, like, astounding. It's beautiful. So if you're a really big fan of art, this is the game for you, the card game for you. So, yeah. Or it's 100% fun, I think. Right, so, and this game is probably a thread-the-needle game. Like, again, yeah. with more people, it would be more dynamic. I think it's like a race. It, it is, but it's a it's a, a protracted race. Yeah. Because if you get too far ahead, then everybody else is going to gang up right. on you. So it's really kind of one of those, get just about to the victory, and then can you cross the finish line right. before everybody else battles you? You want to be a sleeper god. Yes. Not the god of sleep. No. Just a sleeper <laughs> god. So, yeah, it's definitely a really beautiful game. It's a lot of fun. Go check it out. Right. Jason said, only 24 hours left on Kickstarter. Go check it out. Thanks for